How's it going everyone? So I am at my dad's and I am going to check out the swarm trap which I don't think will have anything but today is the cold day of the week. Sorry about that. I was a little off. Today is a cold day of the week and then it's only going to get warmer. So swarming is going to be up and going from what some of the locals have been saying so i really want to get this set up and going and get it ready so i'm gonna put some more lemongrass in there you can see my dad started his garden he's gonna convert that to uh back to eden like i do so here's the swarm box you can see there's nothing in it so let's take that down So I also have a couple of nails in here I wanted to show you. Put a nail right there and right here on each corner. So when I go to hang it, these aren't moving around. Um, the other thing that I discovered talking to someone is I told them what size holes I did and they thought that I didn't have to do the nails because it's too small if I put nails in there. So I'm gonna take those out. And I don't have a hammer. Okay, we'll see if that works. Now we'll hang it back up. All right, so it's all up. So you can see, I took the nails out, opens up the holes, and the guy I was talking to said that actually might not be big enough yet, so see how it goes. It's all trial and error right now, so if I catch one, sweet. If I don't, then I know to make the holes bigger. <laughs> so I'm gonna run to Fleet Farm, get some dog food, some cattle panels. It's the next day from doing the swarm trap. Okay, so I got these in the mail. They're called the Rapid Round Feeder. And the reason why I chose these is you can do uh, syrup in here. And then in the winter, we can do just sugar so it absorbs all the condensation from the hot and cold. So we're going to go back there and get it take the jars out and put these in and see how they've been drinking them. Last time I was in there was Sunday. So I'm gonna get suited up here and we'll head back there. Okay, so I don't know how they're doing. I know I checked the syrup and that's low. So with the one, we have one hive, which is this one here one closer to the house. So this one here that's not closer to the house, it, uh, it is doing very good and taking the syrup down pretty quick. Uh, the other one, unfortunately, is not doing as good. So I don't know what's going on there, but I wanna open this one up, take a look at it, and see if I need to add on to the boxes too. It has been six days and I'm trying to move it so I check these like every Wednesday or Thursday. So I'm gonna go grab some other things and I'll be right back. So I'm gonna show you my setup. This is how I have it right now. I'm gonna use those instead. That one's almost empty. And this one's <laughs> almost gone too.
So this other hive had two full jars. See? Okay, so I need to go get another honey super for that box and for this one and then I'll put the cover on and then I'll have two deeps now. So I, the reason why I was happy is because we have another nuke coming and we haven't had our stuff from Man Lake yet. So I was kind of getting worried but now I can just make a bottom board. It's not the end of the world and we have two extra boxes until that other stuff comes. So. I'm gonna go get that. I'm pretty sure they're liking it. So while we're out here, might as well get some good footage. All of you, uh, beekeepers out there I don't know if it's just you know this time of year or what but that one nuke that I got it just doesn't seem like it's nothing compared to the other one the other the one I just showed you a clip of is bringing in pollen just stronger than strong and the other one is just light on it and I, I took that one apart picked it up I saw the queen so I know the queen's in there I don't know doesn't make any sense, but everything's starting to bloom around here too. And we have a lot of nice weather coming. Well, from now on, I'm, I guess, because they're saying uh, 80s. So that'll be good. That'll help. Um, our apple trees are blooming. Dandelions everywhere. And I'm, I'm expecting the clover within a couple of weeks here with this warm weather because it's going to be 80s. So... And today is getting warm. It's already 72. And where I put them on that side of the house, it's facing south. And it's wind blocked from the east and west and the north. So you only get south wind. And it's not even much of a breeze. So it gets hot over there. So I think that's why they're so active too. But yeah, everything else is looking good. I mean, they're still, they're all live. They're just not taking, that one hive's just not taking a lot of syrup. Don't know why. And it's definitely smaller than the, the other one but that that one is a strong colony that's for sure so um weekly i'm gonna keep checking them weekly i'm hoping wednesdays or thursdays and then swarm trap i'm gonna do that in the same day as i check these just have it all one b day so did you guys know it like if you would notice anyone else that does like a youtube video or uh like my class i take instructors instructors or people making the videos I never realized how many times they say B <laughs> stupid but funny it is it's really funny like when you watch a, a video about bees like someone talking about bees or anything it, you're you really are shocked and or I am really shocked and how many times the person says B so just stupid funny <laughs> must be getting old dad jokes <laughs> um, yeah so hope you guys like the content i'm gonna keep doing it weekly so you guys can experience this with me because i've never done this before um i'm also going to make a video on what everything costs so you know what everything costs what you can expect going into it and because it's pretty much the same around you know give or take 20 bucks maybe because of shipping but yeah so then if someone else watching this wants to raise bees you kind of know what to get into or what to expect so I did a bunch of research, you know, a year and a half prior, obviously. I've said it many a times already, but it I will uh, put everything on there exactly how much we spent. So that'll help you guys out, hopefully. Um, if you like the content, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to support the channel, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> and tell your friends and subscribe. I think it's somewhere down in this area. And uh, yeah, glad you got to see me again. <laughs> Bye.